Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be for the Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign of Aries. Aries, this is your monthly general reading. This is going to be for December 2020. Now, please keep in mind that this is an intuitive reading. Remember to always take what resonates and leave what doesn't for someone else, okay? All right, Aries, let's see what energies and messages we have coming through here for December 2020. All right, we're ready. Situation, we've got the full. Okay. In your challenge position, we have the Ten of Wands. In your foundation, Three of Swords, Recent Past Energy, Seven of Wands. In your crowning position, you have the Ten of Coins. Near Future, we have the Ten of Swords. In the position of what you need to know, we have the Queen of Cups. Your outcome energy is the Nine of Coins. Goodness gracious. Aries. <clears throat> wow. All right, so I'm just going to tell you guys right, right off the bat, okay? This is definitely a... Uh, a breakup, okay, um, a divorce, look at this, you've got 10, 10, 10, you guys, 10, 10, 10, make sure you go and Google the angel number meaning, okay, because it's going to bring more clarity into your situation, you've got three tens here, okay, now, I'm also seeing a new beginning here for, for many of you. A new beginning of, you know, opportunities that are coming in. It's, it's like that energy of just maybe after a time of, you know, stagnation. Um, trying to, you've been looking for a job. You've been going to interviews. And, you know, you haven't heard nothing. Nothing's happened. And it's been a month or two. And, you, you know, you're just about to give up. You're at your last, you know, you just don't feel like you, you can handle anymore. Okay? And that's when this fool comes in here. All right? And it's, it's ushering in. I'm seeing the wheel of fortune in my mind's eye. It's ushering in a change of luck here for you. Okay? And... That's why it has taken a month or two, okay, for you to get that phone call for that opportunity because it's a specific opportunity that's meant just for you, Aries. This is something the universe and your guides and your angels have been working behind the scenes, okay, putting together for you. And that's why it has taken a little, a little bit of time, okay? All right. That's from my guide. So uh, we have a situation here of, you know, a divorce, a breakup. And we also have a situation that's coming through uh, that has to do with an opportunity that's going to come in here that's going to be a major blessing for you after a time of, you know, really feeling without in that energy of lack. Okay. Um, Keep your head up, you guys. Keep your head up. It's it's coming, okay? Something amazing is coming. All right. So we have the full new beginnings, okay? You're going to take a leap of faith into the unknown, but you know what? You're believing in yourself. You're trusting in what it is that you're going after. Okay, or what you're accepting, what's being offered to you. You're ready for a new journey. You are so ready. I feel a lot of enthusiasm and excitement. 
You know, you're trusting in the universe to guide you. You're trusting that your angels and the divine uh, beings that are around you, your, your ancestors, your past loved ones, they are guiding you. And this is you believing that and trusting in it and going in the direction that you are being pulled. And I tell you what, Aries, when you do that, that's when things start unfolding, you know, just one after another of blessing, serendipity, just miracles start happening in your life and taking place. Now, for those of you that are in a breakup or a divorce, middle of a divorce, uh, you have a new beginning here, a fresh start. And I, I feel like, you know, a heavy load, a heavy burden has been lifted up off of you getting out of this situation. I feel like it was toxic. Okay. I, I feel like you too are ready for this new beginning. You're ready to be independent. You're ready to ride solo. Okay. I feel like with the Ten of Wands in your challenge position, some of you, it was really hard to finally get up the courage to be like, look, this isn't working. Okay. I feel like whoever this message is for, you were lied to, you were betrayed. It could have been someone, uh, your partner cheating on you because something that was hidden is coming out. It has come out. Okay. And it's heartbreaking right here. And you know, but I feel like this isn't the first go around here. I feel like this has happened before and now you're like, you know what? You definitely took my kindness for weakness and I'm not, I'm not going through this again. And you stepped into your power here and you know, you've released a heavy load, a heavy burden, like I said a moment ago. And for some of you, this is you, you know, like I said, fixing to start a new beginning here, a new opportunity for those of you that have been waiting a while. But it's going to require you to release and let go of people, situations, things that's no longer serving you. This could be somebody else's heavy burden and load you've been carrying around. It's time to dump it back off on them. Okay? Now we have the Three of Swords coming up here in your foundation. This is what's driving you. Okay? Those of you that are dealing with a breakup or a divorce. Heartbreak, loss, disappointment, anger, okay? Yeah, I'm getting that bitterness, that, that bitter taste in your mouth. But you're not, a, you're not allowing what has happened to, to leave you in a, in a position that you're stuck, okay, or stagnant. You're choosing to use this as fuel, okay? That's, that's definitely you being the alchemist and co-creator of your reality. You're transmuting this energy right here, all this pain, the, this anger, and you're transmuting it into something that's going to benefit you, which is a new beginning, a fresh start, okay? Now, I'm getting right here with the three of swords for those of you that have been waiting for an opportunity a job that's coming in here i'm getting i'm getting three three to thirteen days right here three to thirteen days okay so this is coming in here this month whatever this opportunity is that's going to allow for you to have a new beginning a fresh start i would I would uh, say it does have to do with your career. It could be a business opportunity as well, you guys. Now we have the Seven of Wands here in your recent past. The Seven of Wands, you know, is definitely that energy of feeling defensive, feeling attacked. You know, I, I feel like you guys, those of you, you know, like I said, this this can go in both situations here, you know, and this is you protecting what's yours. You know, this is you standing up for what you believe in and what's right, your truth. Many of you, this could be you, you know, protecting your children, okay? This could be you 
you know, protecting what you're building or, or what you're trying to go after here. For some of you, this is people that's in your ear telling you that you're crazy or that you're making a mistake, you know, and you're standing up for what you believe, what you want. This is you letting them know, hey, I'm here to live my destiny, not yours, okay? Good for you, Aries. Good for you. Now we have the Ten of Coins in the crowning position. All right, those of you dealing with a breakup, going through a divorce, this is definitely a secret coming out. Something that was hidden, okay? Whatever it was, it was pretty bad. And you know what? You're done. It's over. Now, for those of you that are fixing to have a, a new opportunity, get ready. Okay, get ready to make some money. This represents stability and security. This represents great wealth. Okay, and it's right here and you know it. It's coming. You feel it intuitively. You know that this opportunity is, co opportunity is coming. But you're getting tired of waiting. Okay, but you know. You know it's coming. And you have so much room here to take this 10 all the way to the King of Pentacles. So, whatever's being offered, you, you can take it all the way to the top. Climbing the ladder to success right here. Maybe it's a company. Maybe it's management. Maybe, maybe it's a business. Now we have the Ten of Swords. This is the near future. Ten of Swords. This is over. Who or whatever made you feel like you had ten swords put in your back? That situation is gone. Okay? Now there's something important to remember right here. Aries, make sure before you close this door on this cycle, okay, what you went through make sure you leave any negative make sure you leave negative energies make sure you don't carry anything from this into this new beginning that's going to be very important okay you know this talks about betrayal this talks about Lying, cheating, you know, stealing, just horrible things, okay? Now, for those of you that are waiting on an opportunity that's been waiting, you know, this season, this cycle is over that has been very challenging for you, okay? It's done. It's a wrap, Aries. Leaving this Ten of Swords energy cycle behind and moving into this Ten of Coins. All right, so we have the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy that's in the position of what you need to know, okay? Intuition, going with the flow. Where you're being pulled, that's where you go, okay? Go in the direction you're being pulled. This is a very intuitive, psychic energy right here. Now, this is going to mean something different for each of you. For those of you that are in a divorce, okay, you could be dealing with a water sign. You could be, uh, you could have water in your charts, okay? I feel like this person is highly emotional, high strung at times. Could even be an alcoholic, maybe an addict. I'm just going to tell you right now, you watch it. Watch your back. Watch your back. Because whether it's a female or male here, I'm, I'm seeing a get even, 
uh, type of energy is what I'm seeing in her face right now and also that's what I'm feeling so just watch your back now another thing for those of you that are waiting on an opportunity like I said a moment ago listen to your intuition because as long as you are going with that life force energy where you're being pulled there is no wrong turn there is no wrong you know path you are on the right path because you're listening to the divine you guys are using your spiritual gifts okay and like I said a minute ago when using that that uh, magician energy being the alchemist and transmuting this into something that's going to benefit you that is definitely the energy of the queen of cups okay using your life force power to cause change and it's positive change it's what you want all right and then we have the nine of coins i just love it okay those of you that have been waiting on an opportunity here it is it's here Okay, and it's definitely going to bring about stability and security. You're going to get caught up on your house payment. You're going to car payments, whatever you owe, bills. Okay, you're going to be feeling pretty good right here. You may have even gotten a big bonus or you signed on and they gave you a bonus. Okay, this is a material harvest. This is that, that energy of having more than enough. Okay. This is being self-reliant. This is achievement right here. For those of you that are getting a divorce or in the middle of a breakup. Alright, you're independent now. You've broken free. Alright. And you got this. Remember that. You have this. Stability and security is going to come with this new beginning for both situations. And you have that rainbow right there. And we're talking about endless opportunities and possibilities, you guys. When we're talking about starting a new beginning and having that security, okay? Both situations, you will have security. All right, Aries, I love each and every one of you with all of my heart. Please leave me a comment, you guys. Let me know how these energies are playing out in your situation. I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye, Aries.